They produced the Iran Contra affair, and they all got fired and prosecuted and sentenced. They made a comeback with Clinton, with Serbia, with Yugoslavia, establishing these precedents that the United States can interfere in the sovereign affairs of other countries. And this is where the notion of American uh, indispensability, exceptionalism, come from. If you are the exceptional people, the indispensable country, that means nobody else is exceptional and that everybody else is dispensable. These are claims that exceed the claims of Nazi Germany about being the, the Ubermens. These are more excessive claims that the neoconservatives make for the United States than the Nazis made for the Third Reich. Uh, but Dr. Roberts, let me, let me then say, if we allow the, you know, we, we go along with the analysis relative to Russia, but the United States has had a history of separating China from Russia, uh, uh, starting with, let's say, the Nixon, the Nixon years. And so we've now built up China deliberately by allowing them to manufacture our products and we borrow their money. Uh, this is a, a process that seems to be in, uh, indifferent to the Russian situation as it stands. Why would we have allowed China to be, become a power when if we never traded with them in the first place, they'd probably still be a backward country at the present time. So that we ran a strategy of building up a possible counterway to ourselves deliberately in that case. Russia, we didn't do that. We didn't have that economic exchange with Russia that we had with China. Now we're forcing China and Russia back together, which is logical under the circumstances. But what's our thinking there? Why would we have built up, why would the neocons have allowed a buildup of China in the first place? Giving them our manufacturing is the thing to make them the indispensable nation given their population. How would you explain that? The buildup of China resulted from Wall Street pressures on American corporations and also from pressures of big box retailers like Walmart. Essentially, what happened, and, and this was not possible until the Soviet collapse, but when the Soviet Union 